Here are the two problems I'll be going through today. And in the process we'll come to understand surjective or also called onto functions. So let's go to the first problem. So here we have a function f. Now this set here, ABC, this is the domain. And over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, that is the codomain. And we know that f takes every object in the domain back here, every object, the ABC, and maps it onto some part of the codomain. And in this case, we're given the rule for f, f a equals 1, f b equals 2, f c equals 3. So is f subjective? So let's start by just mapping out graphically or geometrically what's going on here. Here we have the domain, a, b, c, and over here we have the codomain, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'll start drawing arrows or lines across from the domain to the codomain according to what f maps. So f a equals 1, so we'll draw in this line, f b equals 2, and then we'll draw in this line because f c equals 3. Okay, so here's the definition. A function is subjective, or onto, if each element of the codomain is mapped onto by some element of the domain. So when we look at the codomain here, 1, 2, 3, 4, we ask the question, is every element of the codomain mapped onto by this function f? And the answer is no. We can see that 1, 2, 3 are mapped by f, but 4 isn't. So because that 4 is not mapped, because there's no line going to 4, then we can say that f is not surjective. So here's a possible way of expressing that solution to that question. OK, now let's go on to this example, or this problem. So here we have g, the function is called g. It maps all the real numbers onto this thing d, this set d and it's given by the rule x becomes e to the x. And we want to specify the codomain d so that g is on to. So let's just get the definition back up of uh, a function being on to or subjective. And now let's just graph, uh, let's get put a graph up of e to the x, which we can see here. So you can see that any value, any real value can be uh, from the domain is mapped onto a value in the codomain. Uh, so the question is, we need to get to a situation where we define d so that every single element of d is mapped onto by this function. So if you look at the graph, you can see that it goes down very close to zero. It looks like it goes to zero, but it actually just gets closer and closer to zero as, as, as uh, x becomes more and more negative. So I'll just put up here a graph here between um, I'll blow up the graph between negative uh, 9 and 10 and you can see that here it's still above 0. So no matter how far you go to the left, um, you'll still be above 0. So the only values that we can get from this function are the positive real numbers. So a solution would be that d equals the set x such that x is a, a real number and x is greater than 0. So that's a very quick introduction to surjective or onto functions. I hope you found it useful.